Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give all the glory to Almighty God. Beloved, this is another day. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is by your power that this day, God Almighty, you have given us a breath as we are alive. It is by your mercies, your love, and your compassion that is upon us. And that's why you have given us a life today. Oh, Heavenly Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we thank you. The Spirit of the living God speak through me. I am just an empty vessel. By your mercy, may the Spirit of God bless the listeners of Prophet Kanewu this morning. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, this is another day the ninth day of January. It is through his mercy that you and I, we are still alive. We give him all the glory, amen. Beloved, our God has a message for us. And the title of the message is The Seed is the word of God, hallelujah. And without wasting time, let's extend our Bible to look. And the verse is eight, starting from five. Let us hear the word of God, hallelujah. We give him all the glory. And I read. Luke 8, 5 says, A sower, a sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, some fell by the wayside. And it was trampled down and the bed of air divided it, some fell on the rock, and as soon as it sprang up, it was whitted away because of lack of moisture. And some fell on tongues, and the tongues sprang upon it and choked it, ate, but others fell on the good ground and sprang up and yield a crop of hundredfold. Then he had said these things. He cried, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. We continue. Nine. Then his disciple asked him, saying, what does this parable mean? And he said, to you, it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But to the others, it is given in a parable that seeing they may not see and hearing they may not hear and understand. They may not understand, rather. The answer is starting from Luke 8, 8 11. That is the answer for the scripture we read. Now, the parable is this. 
The seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are the ones who heard. And the devil come and take away the word out of their hearts. Least they should believe and be saved. Twelve. But the one on the rock are those who, when they have received the word with joy, and these have no roots, who believe for a while, and in time of temptation, they fell away. 14. Now, the one that fell among the tongues are those who, when they have heard, go out and are choked with care, riches, and pressure, precious of life, and bring no fruit to maturity. 15. But the one that fell on the good ground are those who have heard the word with a noble and a good heart, keep it and hear and bear fruit with patience. Hallelujah. Beloved, this is by our Lord Jesus Christ. He is letting us to know. To keep the word, it is only through the Holy Spirit. Because you have to have a fellowship. When we hear the word, it is only through the fellowship and through the prayer and also to studying the word. What we have heard, it is only through the Holy Spirit that can help us to study and to keep the word. And when we go to 13, verse 13, the temptation type, beloved, as we all know, we have to depend upon the word so that the word we can keep it. When it comes to temptation time, it is a time when the devil and his demons come to tempt us because our Lord Jesus Christ was tempted after fasting for 40 days. We have to study the word and the word only Holy, Holy Spirit can help us. We need the Holy Spirit, the fellowship to know him more and more. It is a daily basis. Hallelujah. We continue. The 14 says, as the word comes, the enemy will come with his tricks and the word will come, he will come and snatch it. With what? With hardship, financial problems, all his tricks, difficulties of this world and show you this Ugly things of flashy cars, buildings, all what is not necessary so that you will be busy and not knowing the word and not studying the word. You will not avail yourself as you will have time to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. 
as he can teach us the word and to understand the word. Because the Bible says in Matthew 6, 24, beloved, let us see here what Matthew 6, 24 is saying. Let's hear the word. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love one, or else he will be loyal to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mama. You can depend upon these earthly things because they are fading away. So our Lord Jesus Christ is telling us, we cannot serve riches and the word will not be with us. Now the last verse, which is verse 15, the good ground are those who avail themselves to the Holy Spirit. The fellowship is a solid ground. And by his teaching and understanding, we will bear many fruits. Hallelujah. As Galatians 5.24, he has the nine fruits, joy, temperament, Love, it is by the Holy Spirit. So beloved, we have to study the word and that our teacher will let us know the word. Hallelujah. We go back to Luke 15 and the verse is four. Beloved, let's hear the word. Luke 15. 15 4. What the Bible says. What a man of you, having hundred sheep, if we lose one of them, does it not leave the 99 in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost until he finds it? This is our Lord Jesus Christ. When you have 100 sheep. Our Lord is saying, when one is lost, you have to look for the one. So beloved, those who are not in the fold, it is your duty, it is my duty to witness the word of God because it, it is a seed and it has to germinate. It has to grow. People have to hear the word so that we can win souls for our Lord Jesus Christ. It is his will that no person shall perish, but beloved, are we win soul for him? The good ground is to witness, to tell about Christ, what he has done for you, what he has done for me when we were in the world. We were all sinners, but through his mercy, his goodness, his love, that we are saved. So beloved, we have a tax, a mandate, commitment to do, to go out and to witness to the souls that are not in the fold so that our Lord, will reward us. We give him all the glory for a time like this. This is a difficult time, but we can make it. We can witness even on our phone. When we meet somebody, we can take their number and share the word of God on the phone. So beloved, this is what the Lord Jesus Christ is telling us. The seed 
that fell on the good ground is to bring souls to his kingdom. We give him all the glory. The spirit of the living God have mercy upon us so that we can do what God wants us to do. We thank the Father, we thank the Son, we thank the Holy Spirit for a message like this, because this is the end time. And sooner and sooner, he is coming. We thank God. I take this opportunity that God Almighty will bless the prophet, the end time prophet, that the assignment that he has given to him, he will fulfill it and win souls for our God Almighty, for his kingdom. And also the listeners, may God bless you. May your heart desire be met and protect you for availing yourself each day to listen to the end time prophet. May God bless you. I pray in Jesus' name with thanksgiving. Amen.